Hi there, Aries, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of May the 8th through to the 14th. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Aries. First up, we have the King of Wands in the upright, followed then by the Two of Swords reversed. Next, we have the Ten of Wands reversed, followed then by the Five of Swords reversed, and lastly, the Queen of Cups in the upright position. Your overall energy, Aries, is the king of wands in the upright position. This is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is fire energy. Aries, like yourself, Leo, Sagittarius, sun, moon, or rising. Now, for some of you, this could be, this king of wands energy could be somebody that's playing a pivotal role, somebody you're dealing with um, this week. But remember, this is you coming up in your own reading, Aries, indicating you will be showing the best of yourself this week and you will be making all the right moves. The King of Wands knows the moves to make and makes them in a mature with a lot of uh, thought behind it and makes the moves in a mature manner. So for some of you, this is you guys finally taking action on something. For others of you, this is someone else in your life. It could be your spouse, it could be a family member, a friend, a boss. Um, this, if that's the case, this person is a real go-getter, wants to get things moving, could be cracking the whip, could be wanting to get involved in some kind of business enterprise, could even be involving travel for some of you. Now, right at the beginning of the week, you have the Two of Swords in the reverse position, pointing back to the Ace of Swords upright, which is an energy that represents clarity, being able to see things clearly and make an informed decision. Because the Two of Swords in the upright position is where we're facilitating between this side, that side. We don't know which way to go. Um, we're in an indecisive moment. But when the card is inverted, this is where we feel we have enough information in order to move forward with something. So now we're ready to move, make sense with the King of Wands too, right? We're ready to move because now we've come out of the indecision phase. Next card up is the Ten of Wands in the reverse position, indicating we'll be letting go of some kind of burdens this week. Some some of you may have been overworked. You may have been in the Ten of Wands in the upright position. You may have been in a situation where people were putting a lot on your plate, such as perhaps co-workers who were you know, out sick or on vacation or things like that. Perhaps you were picking up slack for them. Others of you perhaps were involved in a very physical situation where you where you basically had to uh, maybe pack up a house maybe some of you are moving and you're doing that or you could be renovating and it, these are all exhausting things maybe some of you are even working out too much just exhausting the body but when the card is inverted like this this is where we're releasing that burden for some reason now for some of you perhaps uh, you've just decided no enough's enough and you've <laughs> sort of put your foot down and said I'm going to start delegating all of these extra duties because, you know, I'm done with this. Some of you got overextended and now it's time to just sort of release yourself from some of those extra burdens that need not be there. Maybe for some of you, that's the action you're taking or it could be the decision you have made is to release yourself from some of these burdens. Moving forward towards the weekend, you have the five of swords in the reverse position. Again, energy much better in the reverse position as opposed to upright. When it's in the upright position, this can point to where, you know, we've had a lot of battles. We're fighting a lot of verbal battles. Could be with other people, a group of people. It could be uh, just being at odds. It could be, um, you know, even things like uh, social media arguments, things like that. And oftentimes the Five of Swords in the upright can point to inner conflict as well. When the card is inverted, however, this is whether you were in conflict with others and now you're finally coming out of that, or whether you were in conflict with self, this is you finally releasing that. Because it looks like you're being firm, you're making decisions, you're deciding to do some better stuff for you and for your life, and you're moving forward in uh, very quick because the King of Wands moves quickly. You're moving forward, it looks like Aries. Cutting ties with things that no longer work. Moving forward, 
with something that you've made a firm decision on. The last card you have is Queen of Cups in the upright position. It is court card could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Now this could be someone external to you, but sometimes we can embody the energies of these of these characters. So for some of you, perhaps you're reaching a level of emotional maturity. You could be having people coming to you for advice on emotional matters, things like that. Or you yourself could be seeking out somebody. Uh, sometimes the Queen of Cups can represent like a really compassionate, caring and understanding doctor. They can be a, a counselor, um, psychi psychiatrist, psychologist, those types of people who, you know, you can bring your problems to and they just kind of listen they're they're really good at dealing and processing emotions and helping others process emotions as well um could be you showing great emotional maturity like i said to others perhaps people around you um this could be someone this could be your again your spouse your family member friend um this could be somebody at work a neighbor whomever or like I said, it's you embodying these energies, but you could be talking to someone. This person could be showing, you know, a lot of emotional maturity on whatever it is you're talking about. But that would be when you're discussing emotional matters or even creative matters because cups also uh, govern creativity as well. So that's what I have for you this week. I hope you have a fantastic week. Aries, thank you so much for joining me. And um, I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to share it. Share it far and wide to anyone you think might get some benefit out of it. So that's what I have for you. Take care, much love, and I will see you again next week. Bye-bye for now.